guys. So really quickly, this is editing Jess, kind of, sort of. Make sure that you stay tuned to the end of this video because I'll be sharing with you one of my favorite recipes. It's not a sponsored ad, it's just something that I want to share with you guys. And just thank you again for being a member of my YouTube channel or a subscriber of my YouTube channel. And this is Lavender, one of my new chicks and a little angel who has just been a lot of fun. Enjoy the video. Hello my loves and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. We need to talk about Jupiter retrograde, shall we? Let's go ahead and dive right in. Let's waste no time. So this is the latest astrological event that it is that I've been really dying to talk to you guys about. Why? Because Jupiter actually rules expansion, abundance, philosophy, and now that it's retrograde, this is just another item added to the pot of our lives lately that has been creating very tumultuous energies to say the very least. Now, I'm someone who believes that you can create alchemy with anything. You just need to understand exactly what it is that you're working with. This is one of those things that the more that you understand it better, the better you can make it work for you and not against you. That's a big motto here. Before I dive into this video, please know that I have chickens, I have two roosters, and they are very vocal, opinionated, aggressive, and one is now standing on the fence, which means that he is feeling especially cocky right now, so we might hear that. We also are nearing sunset, and the birds in my neighborhood tend to get very vocal right as the sun is about to go down, when the sun is going down, and right before a storm and in the early morning. So that is prime time right now. And also we have Franklin moseying around the property as I'm talking with you guys. So distractions are abundant this afternoon. If you guys are willing to work with that, then I'm willing to give you all of the tools that you're going to need in order to navigate through this Jupiter retrograde. So first things first, I want to remind you that Jupiter is turning retrograde after Venus just went direct. Venus has been ruling our relationships, our beauty, our aesthetic, where we're putting our money, how we feel about ourselves. So it's like you had a brief moment where there felt like there was a breakthrough only for it to flip, turn, and now we're reevaluating what we have learned about ourselves from that retrograde and also the other planets who are currently retrograde. Whoa, there is a huge white stork that just flew by. Flew by. So if you are negative minded or if you can't find opportunities here, your first instinct is to look at these retrogrades and see that this is a setback instead of an opportunity for you to reflect on how much you have changed and evolved and how much you've uncovered about yourself thus far. What does this mean? This means that many of us, I want to say that many of us are experiencing some forms of ego death. This means that we're separating ourselves from how we were taught to be, how we're taught to behave, how we're taught to show up for the world, how we're taught to show up for ourselves, our perceptions, all of that is being deadened and awakened. We're literally like phoenixes rising from the ashes. And with that, the retrograde is the opportunity for you to take a very much needed, well-deserved rest and space to reflect on what you're feeling, what you're thinking, and what the vision looks like now. Now, how am I tying Venus retrograde and Jupiter retrograde together? Well, this number one, because the energies have been very chaotic in the cosmos lately, so chances are, nine times out of ten, you're definitely feeling this. I'm feeling it every day when I'm doing my Bahati Love Notes reading. I actually had to take a few days off because it's been really chaotic on that end. Every time when I'm shuffling and pulling for that collective group, I can see that there's a lot of tumultuous energy that we're all under the influence of. So there's that, but also think about how Venus retrograde has made us shift in what it is that we're attracted to. It's made us reassess our relationships, reassess our approach to relationships, what we want, what we're attracted to now, not just physical, but energetically. What does that look like? And now that she's going direct, it's like a fresh start. But now that Jupiter is retrograde, now we need to examine not just what we're attracted to, but what our beliefs are, what our lives are to look like, what we visually feel and sense for ourselves, big picture. 
Now Jupiter rules philosophy, it rules travel, it rules mental expansion, it rules expanding. Come here, baby. Come here, Nugget. Chick, chick, chick. Let's see if my chicken will come and say hi to you guys. But they just ate, so they don't need me anymore. Yeah, maybe not, they're busy right now. Um, yeah, so Jupiter rules our, our big picture vision for it is that we see for our lives. And Venus was how we began to, like, the, the things that we had around us that we would incorporate into our day-to-day -day lives that were like, this reflects my core values or this reflects something that is important and valuable to me now. Now that Venus is direct, again, we have reassessed our relationships, we reassessed our spending, but now we're gonna go higher. We're gonna go higher with this because now we're saying, okay, now that I have experienced this in my relationships, this is something that is no longer that is important to me. This is no longer something that I desire for myself. And I need to reassess a lot of the ways that I've shown up in my work, in my day to day. Are there certain things that I'm being called to, to explore, whether that be travel, whether that be education? What is the bigger picture that it is that I see for myself? Now, what's wonderful about this is that it's actually happening in the sign of Taurus, and Taurus is actively being deconstructed and rebuilt up by Uranus, who is also retrograde. Uranus is the planet of chaos, but it's also about thinking ahead, thinking in the future, planning for the future. It connects us to alien life and technology, things that we ne don't necessarily um, experience in our day-to-day -day lives. It, they throw us for a loop, they're surprising, but they expand, holy crap, I didn't even know that that's something that exists. I didn't know that that's something that could happen, and yet here we are, we find ourselves in that. Applying that energy to Taurus, we're seeing this in the housing market, we're seeing this in our finances, our resources, all of those things are being shook up. Now, Taurus loves a practical approach to energy just across the board. But when Jupiter is now transiting through the sign of Taurus and now retrograde, we start feeling a, a, a different sense of stability and security. So for some of you guys, this might mean that you needed a certain amount of income in order to feel safe and secure in your day-to-day -day life. Then you start realizing after you lost everything or gained everything that that's not necessarily that's going to make you feel safe and secure right now. Your priorities have shifted in some major great way. This is also a wonderful time for you to reassess your own values and your ethics. What is actually morally important to you? And this can drastically change as certain information is being presented to you and as your own energy and your vibes change. Now there's no judgment here on my end. Everyone has their own battles. Everyone has their own story. Everyone has their things that they advocate for. For me, it has always been mental health, emotional health, and also foster care. Youth who are aging out of the foster care system are in foster care. Those are an animal and the earth. Those are issues that are always close to me and my heart. Those are things that I can't see changing. But during this transit, during Jupiter, the Jupiter, um, Jupiter retrograde, I wonder if there's any parts of myself that I'm going to be revisiting and reprioritize them or even opening my mind to see that this cause matters greatly to me or this is something that I can't tolerate when it comes to my life. It may not necessarily be something that others can agree with, but this is my truth, this is my reality. For some of you guys, you might actually be using this Taurus transit, this Jupiter and Taurus transit to go on a vacation, to take a break, to let your hair down, to disconnect, maybe from social media, from the world, from your phone, and really ground yourself. Remember that Jupiter and Taurus retrograde is very grounding in nature. There's a wonderful opportunity and ability to ground yourself and center yourself in these energies if you're open to them. Expand your mind to what this can look like for you and begin to employ those practices, whether it be committing to yoga once a week or once a day, going for walks, going back, connecting into with your garden, spending time with your chickens as they rip through the bag of fresh corn. Everyone's story and everyone's path is going to be different. Definitely choose and pick your poison with this. The one thing that I do want to tell you with Jupiter retrograde in the sign of Taurus is that when we experience an imbalance or a shift, 
we can logically understand that this is what's happening around us but internally begin to panic as the ground underneath us the foundation underneath us tends to fall and then we look and the hole is way bigger than it is that we thought that we were expecting that's just Jupiter nature in general Jupiter always expands and pulls out way larger than what we could even conceptualize it to be so for some of you guys this is gonna feel like a huge, a huge gaping hole in your life, in your resources, in your finances, in your stability, in your sanctuary. And this is even more of an invitation again for you to try to lean back into your ability to feel grounded or to practice things that ground you and root you. One last thing that it is that I wanna share with you guys is that's actually it, is sharing. Now, I don't feel like we talk about this enough in the astrological world i don't know why that is but jupiter rules our philosophy and how we our our, our internal wisdom and i feel like with jupiter retrograde this time this is going to be a wonderful opportunity for you to share your philosophy and open up to new perspectives and new philosophies of other people in order to gain and share wisdom in order to do this your mind is going to have to be very very open for some of you guys, this is going to be a very easy, natural transition. And others, it's going to really trigger... Oh, Blue Jay. How nice. It's going to... <laughs> my. Um, I always get made fun of for my attention span. Um, it is what it is. Um, but for some of you guys, it's going to really trigger... I don't want to say core beliefs, but things that you have locked and loaded yourself into, meaning like you are just dead set this, or you just exclusively believe this, and there's just no way that your mind can change. This retrograde season is going to be a wonderful time and opportunity to meet new people, new friendships, and revisit, not revisit, but fall into those even deeper with an, a wide open mind, a wide open heart, because by the time this planet goes direct, starting the very new year, 2024, literally January 1st is when, well, December 31st, but January 1st is technically, I'm going to call it the time when it's like fully retro or fully direct, even though there's still an, an in-between time. Um, the energy is just moving direct at that point, undeniable, right? So that starts you off a fresh foot fresh perspective you might even find yourself moving locations you might have been someone who has lived in the u.s your entire life and you decide listen i would do better off buying a, a, a home in italy i would do better off moving to the islands i would do better off co sharing my time in costa rica or here there's something here about finding a path that is more receptive and more nurturing and supportive and is more stable than what you have currently and to get to that outcome to get to that place expand the mind for those of you guys that are in relationships this is a wonderful way too to connect with your partner or to connect with a future partner who will bring wisdom to you from their own experiences, maybe from a totally different world, from a di totally different culture, a totally different practice. Someone so different from you whose philosophies are in alignment with you, but their wisdom and their experience expands your current reality. And that honestly feels like a huge blessing. Now, even though Jupiter is retrograde, it's easy for us to think that blessings are turned in or toned down, and that's not the case. Even when a planet is retrograde, there's so much ripe fruit to gain from that. So much ripe fruit. You just need to know what that fruit looks like and where to find it. So thank you guys so much. My books are open for Jupiter and Taurus transit readings as well as other intuitive readings. The Apothecary is currently closed as I close out any lingering orders and begin to write my next book, which is going to be a big one. So feel free to visit BahadiLife.com and sign up for my newsletter so you can get details of that. I'm not really sharing all of what it is that I'm gonna be writing about, although the majority of you guys know it. I just learned that when something is happening in my life to get quiet, to get focused, and to grow that thing until it's ready to be received, until it's full and healthy, then we share. Why? Because it protects what's being, what's growing at that moment in time. That's a very wonderful blessing. And 
<laughs> you're my chicken and if that's one lesson that you learn and gain or that you lean into during Jupiter retrograde season then blessings to you throughout that okay be open to any pivots and change because remember it's not just Jupiter that is currently retrograde there's the majority of the planets currently are including Mercury retrograde a lot of things shifting and changing so try to stay flexible and fluid and open and you should do just fine Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I'm San Diego as all of my love, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, it's me. Really quickly, I just wanted to share this quick recipe with you that I think will just be so beneficial. It's not necessarily inspired by Jupiter Retrograde. It's just something that I made recently, and I just think that you guys would love it. It's turmeric, a bit of ginger, and by a bit, I mean a lot of bit. I'm always getting made fun of by how much ginger I put in my juice recipes. A bunch of mandarin oranges, some celery, and a Mmm, ton of carrots, a whole lot of carrots. All you gotta do is just juice it and then drink it. It's gonna be amazing for your body. It's gonna be amazing with vitamin C. I'm pretty sure that you guys can find these ingredients pretty affordable at Trader Joe's, any type of all natural health relief place, but I just wanted to come in here real quick and share this recipe with you. Genevieve is also here and she says hi. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.